Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a grammar school. Nail shape emphasizes the beauty of your hands, but what if your natural nails are curved and twisted? Such nails are also called helicopters because of their twisted transverse arch. In this video, I will show you how to fix and how to visually align such nails. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our new useful videos. Give a thumbs up and without further ado, let's get into it. Look at my model's nails. She has got very beautiful fingers and long nails. However, they are pretty specific. The middle nails are growing badly to the side. We know that the nails tend to curl as they grow. And it's exactly the case. The index ones are growing downwards, and that's what caused this big crack on the index finger. And the thumbs have a very twisted transverse arch. All of this needs to be fixed today. It will be really exciting, so watch till the end. I start removing the gel polish with a carbide drill bit. I can see very big cracks on the index finger while removing the coating. There is no point in fixing this nail. It's easier to cut it off and build up again because it grows down badly. Using a nail cutter, I'm cutting the nail from the right and from the left. Don't use scissors for this purpose, as your client may feel pain. I'm filing off the rest of the base cut. And I can see everything that was going on on these nails. Here we have a previous milky shade base, blue gel polish, and some pastel shades. I don't remove the old base cut in this area, that's not needed since I'm going to repair it and file out from the inside, so I don't waste my time on this. Be careful when removing the gel polish. Remove the old coating completely and don't leave any pieces of it. If you're going to apply some kind of transparent material, like camouflage coating, those color leftovers will be visible. While removing the material, I notice a white area. Maybe it's a lifting. I'm moving on. And now I see that that's a previous milky base, so I'm filing it off. There's a crack on the thumb. It needs to be repaired. That's how the nails look after removing the material. I will do an e-file manicure with a flame and big sphere drill bit. I'm filing the crack on the thumb with a diamond drill bit, forward position. In order to make a proper repair and keep the crack from splitting, I'm buffing the nail surface before cutting it with my sphere drill bit. I work very carefully on the index finger, so as not to damage the hyponychium. Hyponychium is the skin under the nail plate. I'm cutting the cuticle with a red sphere drill bit, 0.31 in diameter. In order to fix twisted nails and cracks before the free edge is shaped, I'm going to use a jelly gel to fix all the twisted nails and cracks. It's very thick and doesn't flow at all. I put a big drop on the right side of the middle finger, smooth the material edge and send it to the lamp. I put a drop on the left side of the nail and build it up in the gross point pulling out the lower parallel. We need to stretch out the nail visually. I put the material into the crack and smooth the borders to the natural nail, here in the lamp. Our index nail is shorter and grows down badly. 
I put a big drop on the free edge. We're going to file the nail from the inside. To lift up this curved tip. And stretch in the lens a little bit. There isn't enough lower parallel from the side view, so I add some material there. You can do the same thing with Acrygel. I've chosen the Jelly Gel because it's faster to work with and the camouflage color suits here well. And now our special thumb. There is a missing parallel. On the right side, I lower the filed parallel and quickly send it to the lamp so that the gel does not shrink. And on the left side, I apply the material on the nail so it looks less twisted. I'm building up the correct architecture like this. Don't use a thick layer so the material can cure well. I'm going to extend the index finger, so I prepare a paper form. I'm cutting out a hole to set up the form close to the nail, not under the hyponychium. Decreasing the nail plate, applying a primer and a base cut. I set up the form and shape the nails into almonds using my jelly gel. I check the lens and remove the excess with a brush. So quick and easy, we built up the architecture and repaired the cracks. And here comes an important step – how to shape almonds correctly. Out of six nails, I find the shortest one from the cuticle to the free edge and start filing it. I find the central axis that goes through the center of the cuticle. I can see where the tip of my almond shape should be. I file more on the right side, so the nail doesn't go to the side. Long swinging moves. And the same thing on the other side. Don't press your file to the natural nail plate, in order to avoid layers at the gross points. I pull the lateral fold, put the file under the nail, and file a straight line from the gross point, under the tip of the nail, turn the finger to the side and file under the nail. We usually focus on the central axis that goes through three phalanges of the finger. On the middle finger, the last phalanx badly goes sideways. So, of course, we can't leave it like this. We need to turn it to the side a little. And for how much, you may ask? If the twist is very strong, then follow the second phalanx. I'm drawing the line that goes through the middle of the proximal nail fold and the middle of the nail tip. You can use this life hack to check the symmetry. I turn the hand over and touch up the shape in this position. I'm filing off the formed thickness to the center of the nail. We file the index nails the same way and compare the lens with the rest of the nails. In order to check the symmetry, I turn the client's hand away from me. I place the file under the thumbnail and lift up the lowered right parallel, shaping it into almonds. I lift up the lower parallels and make sure they are on the same level. Smoothing out the surface. Check the tip so that the lower walls are at the same level. That's how the nails look from the inside. Here is our result after repairing, building up and fixing the twisted arches. Now our nails are like a blank canvas and all that is left to do is to align them with the hard gel. Since my model's nails are long, the gel polish is unlikely to hold on well here. We have already seen that it always cracks in the gross points. So now, we're going to strengthen the nails with the hard gel, 
applying a primer and a thin layer of a base coat under it. I strengthen natural nails with the hard gel, the same way as with the base coat. I apply a thin layer in three moves. In the center, on the right, and on the left. I'm grabbing a big sculpting drop, putting it on the highest point, the stress zone, and gently spreading it near the cuticle with a brush. Spreading the material on the sidewalls, I turned the nail over so the material could align itself. Time to check the highlight. It's smooth, so it means that the surface of the nails is also smooth. If the client feels burning while curing, Make sure to tell them to take the hand out. We could switch on a low power mode in the lamp, but then there is a chance that the material won't cure well and will flow later. And there are going to be bumps and licks on the sides. That's why we're using a high power mode and cure it for a few seconds until it starts burning. Then we take the hand out and put it back into the lamp when it stops burning. We build up the architecture with gel. You can leave the nails like this, or you can cover them with gel polish if you want. We're going to do a French manicure. I need to buff the surface and paint French tips with gel polish. On the rest of the nails, we will create a marble design. To do this, I apply a thin layer of a camouflage base coat, so the gel polish could spread better. I mix a clear base with white gel paint, and I paint lines with this translucent shade. It's very important to make these lines wavy and not straight, so I'm shaking my hands so the marble texture looks more natural. After curing, we add some more white gel polish, with thin, delicate lines. For the decor, we will add some small pieces of silver leaf foil and cover them up with a non-tacky top coat. To finish off, we can't leave the nails like this. We need to file out the remaining material and the natural nail from the inside. Forward position and maximal speed. Here's the result. We have fixed the gross direction and aligned the shape. Of course, we can't completely fix natural nails, as we do when we sculpt them. But I think we did a great job. If you think so too, then give a thumbs up. Write in the comments what you think about it. Should we fix the nails like this? And I wish you all success in your work. Bye-bye.